Dear friends, welcome to another episode in the fantastic military world. In this video, we will discuss the cancellation of a program by the United States Army that promised to deliver the fastest and most modern helicopter in the world. Why was this project cancelled after the United States government invested billions of dollars in its development? As I often emphasize here on the channel, every need on the battlefield requires a specific weapon. And this maxim also applies to helicopters. Of all the missions a helicopter must perform in combat, one of the most important is observation and reconnaissance. This is a crucial mission not only for other helicopters, but also for forces on the ground, as its purpose is to obtain as complete an image as possible of the enemy's strength and disposition. For over 30 years this important mission was carried out with distinction by the Bell OH-58. Light, compact, very fast, and maneuverable. Essential characteristics to enter the battlefield. Perform observations, and withdraw safely. To effectively carry out its mission, it was equipped with advanced optical and electronic systems that greatly automate its battlefield observation and reconnaissance work. The helicopter also came armed with an unguided rocket launcher, a machine gun, and Hellfire air-to-ground missiles. Despite being excellent in its mission, in 2017, the United States Army decided to retire it, splitting its mission between the H-64 Apaches and reconnaissance drones. However, a faction of the Army fiercely defended that this mission should be centered on a single aircraft and not divided into two, with all this pressure resulting in the start of the FARA, Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft, program in 2018. Since the main purpose would be observation and reconnaissance, the United States Army prioritized especially fast and agile projects. Among the various projects and prototypes presented, the Sikorsky Raider X and the Bell 360 Invictus stood out. The Sikorsky Raider X is a compound helicopter with coaxial rotors, meaning its propulsion is provided by a propelling propeller and is equipped with a coaxial rotor in counter-rotation, eliminating the need for a tail rotor. Thanks to this design, it is exceptionally fast, with a speed estimated at 285 in Europe, and is also very stable in gliding flight, an important feature for distant observation missions. The Bell 360 Invictus has a more conventional design, closely resembling current attack, helicopters. Although it is less fast than the Raider X, with a maximum estimated speed of 229mm, it is considered much more discreet and stealthy to enemy radars. These and other projects and prototypes consumed billions of dollars in Pentagon funds. However, on February 8 of this year, 2024, the United States Army announced the immediate cancellation of the program. But why was such a promising program with such advanced and modern helicopters cancel it after consuming so much time and resources? As in other similar situations, no detailed explanation was given for the cancellation. But some analysts believe the reason for this lies in the Russian invasion of Ukraine and the increasing Chinese pressure on Taiwan and the South China Sea. In the case of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the great lesson that conflict is offering to the world is that observation drones can indeed, to some extent, replace much more expensive and complex vectors, like helicopters. Another lesson being taught is that the modern battlefield can be terribly dangerous for helicopters. Russia, despite operating very modern helicopters with advanced early warning and countermeasure systems, lost nearly 200 helicopters in two years of war to portable launchers operated by Ukraine, with many of these helicopters being lost precisely in observation and reconnaissance missions. In the case of China, the lesson being taught is that helicopters like the Raider X and the 360 Invictus, exceptionally fast and agile, but with limited autonomy and range, are not suitable for operation over the vast distances of the Pacific where bases and landing strips can be separated not by hundreds, but by thousands of kilometers. According to some analysts, these lessons have shown the United States Army that investing tens of billions of dollars in mass-producing helicopters unsuitable for modern combat does not make much sense. And so, despite being truly fantastic projects at the level of aeronautical engineering, they simply are not 100% adapted to what is expected to be encountered on today's battlefield, whether in Europe or the Pacific. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss any news, criticisms, ideas or suggestions. You can leave them in the comments.